Those regions are South Asia, East Asia, and Central and East Europe. In general, the macro movement of slaves is from those poorer regions to wealthier regions. West Europe, the Middle East, as well as North America, and urban centers in any country. The crime of sex trafficking is an abhorrent, unconscionable crime. Every day, millions of women and children are brutalized for the sake of... Um. Sexual trafficking, uh, not as much. I know there's a, um, there's sort of a pipeline uh, that's really awful that goes on. Um, particularly, I've heard about in West Africa, where you'll have uh, people that adults who have already immigrated uh, to especially Europe who bring in children to work as domestic servants, and very often they're uh, they're sexually vulnerable in the places where they work. So it's not prostitution the way we think about it in the United States. It's more like child molesting the way we think about it in the United States, where you know kids are just being brought in to be sort of these Cinderella's of families. And, uh, and then maybe, um, Very difficult so, to uh, to control because uh, because of sort of the extended family network of uh, okay. so it's 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 so common in Africa for people to you know have grandmother or, or go stay with an aunt or go stay with uh, cousins and so to do the same thing to leave Af to leave a West African country to go to England to go stay with an aunt and uncle or cousins um, doesn't seem that unusual and. Uh, and then there's a flip side, which is one of the ways that they do cut down uh, is um, by saying is by envisioning that a lot of the exploitation is happening um, because of strangers. And so one of the things that's extraordinarily difficult to do in Africa that's actually really sad is to do international adoption. And uh, so, for example, I knew somebody in uh, Tanzania that wanted to adopt a street child that she knew very well, and she couldn't do it because the Tanzanian government told her, um, you, need to, you need to come here and live here for a year, and we'll, our social workers will evaluate how well you're taking care of that child. And, uh, and if you don't, then there's no way that we'll even allow you to apply to adopt this child. And so... I think there's a lot of uh, there's sort of a lot of emphasis on stopping um, potential uh, abuse or um, uh, sexual exploitation um, by strangers, but at least from what I've heard, um, there's there's much less if if there's a connection between the people. But if there's a connection between the people, it's it's so much easier to do, and so. Uh, that's that's one of the sort of dynamics problems. Uh, there's all there's there's millions millions more than 10 million uh, estimated uh, orphans in sub-Saharan Africa. But a man found me and said he had a safe place for me to stay. Then he sold me to another brothel. When I was a prostitute, I was required to have 15 men each day. If I did not, I would be beaten and refused food. Tell me a little bit about what you know about child development. What do children need? Uh, well, all children need, um, they need a safe home. 
Um, they need a place that they feel secure. They need a loving family or uh, people to support them. They need the space to develop. Um, they need the time to play. Um, they just basically need a caring, supportive environment.